for one more question. Uh, Which is good, because we've next? got somebody in the lobby. So oh, shit. I will pull them up. All right, here we go. Vladis, how you doing, brother? Oh, hello. <laughs> how you doing? <laughs> Very good in you, bro. Oh, it's... I'm actually working right now. I, I get to watch your live streams while I work, but I've never been a participant, so I'm actually kind of excited. Oh, we're very happy to have you, bro. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. What's your question? What's your question? Uh, Can it be something out of a lore question? Yeah, it can be literally anything. Okay. okay. Um, So I, I'm, I've been a WoW Andy for almost... 15 years all right i you know world of warcraft to me was a very very special mmo for me and uh, life-changing a lot of friends that i've made from there um wow. and then i think uh, especially you know with all of the recent allegations stuff like that i didn't really quit because of that yeah. i honestly just quit because the game just the game loops didn't keep me interested anymore yeah. with all, with everything that dragonflight is doing I, I feel like they are doing a lot of stuff right, but for me, I don't think that's enough for me to come back. Like, I feel that I used to feel like the sink cost fallacy for me hit me so hard. Yep. You know, you put 15 years into a game, you don't want to lose all the progress, the characters, the transmog, the mounts, like everything. Mm -hmm. But now I just kind of see it as like, I don't regret my time. I, I enjoyed the time that I have, but I think it is time for me to move on and i guess my question to you is like do you feel like a lot of players are kind of like me in a sense i get the same why the... Yeah, yeah or no go ahead sorry no no no. you can finish uh well i was just gonna say like you know because i know there has been a lot of people quitting retail and i know there's a lot more people playing wrath yeah and um I, that's that's something that i've actually been playing recently with my wife she's never played an mmo so oh, we've nice. actually been leveling a character together uh, never thought I would actually play World of Warcraft with my wife. Is she <laughs> so enjoying been... it, by the way? She she really is. She really, really nice. is. Nice. Uh, so it, it's because uh, uh, we're kind of getting ready for Ashes of Creation. That's going to be a game that we're going to play together. Yep. But I didn't want her to go into that game without having some kind of a knowledge first in playing an MMO. And I okay. thought Classic was a very good way to get her started. Yeah, I, I, I would agree with that. If you're going to sort of prepare someone for... Because Ash of Creation, whilst a new MMO, is very much a return to the almost pre-WoW era of what MMOs right. used to be. Uh, so, yeah, I can absolutely see that being decent preparation, um, albeit nowhere near as grindy as Ash of Creation is probably going to be, because uh, it's designed right. to be that, you know. Um, but, right. okay, so first of all, I was very, very happy to hear that you and your wife have found a game that that you enjoy i i'm even more happy that it's my favorite expansion of all time that that you guys right. are enjoying together um and i'm like you right i i also started i started right at the end of vanilla playing world of Me warcraft too. uh played all of dbc and since then the only expansion that i missed was mr pandaria where i only played like the first six months and the last six months of the expansion um mm -hmm. But since like I've always played WoW, I've I've, I've always loved yeah. it, and like you, um, I sort of quit. Although I quit before the allegations even started, and then when the allegations happened, that was the moment that I sort of unsubbed from the game, and I was like, "Fuck, I'm done. I'm not giving this company right. any more money." Um, right. For me, it was just the allegations that pushed me to a uh, the gameplay made me quit long beforehand so your first part of the question right. do i think other players are sort of in the same boat i, I not all right there's definitely right. still a very i, I say very a, a large-ish contingent of players that either because of addiction or because they've just never played anything else uh will play wow regardless of what blizzard does or doesn't do um, you know this because people were still playing Shadowlands, even though there was a nine-month drought. Uh, people were still playing. Right. Because what else were they going to do? They don't play any other games. And this is sort of the brilliant thing that Blizzard did, if you would allow me to just sort of digress a little. Um, sure. World of Warcraft managed to turn so many non-gamers into gamers, but they're not really gamers. They're wowers. They play wow. They've never played anything else. I know this because I used to be in a guild with a girl um, 
and one night we were talking sort of all in the like we were all in in uh this was back in mumble days right so we're on a mumble yeah. and i'm going i'm i i had a problem logging into steam and i'm like dude i don't know what the fuck's wrong it just won't let me log in and this girl's like what's steam i'm like what <laughs> hey, how the fuck do you not know what steam is and she said, I don't know what it is. I'm like, well, it's where all the games are. What are you talking about? Like, how can you play games and you don't know what Steam is? And she's like, uh, is WoW on there? I'm like, no. Why would WoW? Like, what are you? And she's like, no, I, I only play WoW. She's she's right. never played anything else. That's the only game she plays. Um, and I've met a couple of other people uh, in my like years of playing this game that just they don't play anything else. So for them, this is the game, and they're always going to be playing it. But I do think right. that you said something that I fucking loved. And it's something that I've been trying to drive home. Time spent enjoying yourself is never going to be time wasted. There, is, sure. there is no sunk cost fallacy. There, there is no sunk cost there. You, When you were playing the game, you were having the time of your life. But times change, you know? And we move on. Insert we insert garage meme here. Yeah, like, <laughs> right. you know, insert garage. Um, and I think, I think for a lot of people, it have sort of reached that point where they're starting to ask themselves, "Is it worth all the hours that I'm putting into it?" Because WoW does take a lot of time. It's it's a very time heavy game, times sort of intensive game. And I think a lot of people are sort of at that point where they're going, dude, is this worth it? Is this what I want to put my time into? Especially considering the fact that it doesn't seem like my time is being respected. And now, you know, Dragonflight seems to be doing all the right things, as you said yourself. For sure. I don't I don't wish WoW ill. I really yeah. don't. I, I think a lot of the times, like, people like to shit on WoW um, for a lot of different reasons that are also probably completely valid. Mm. But... I, I do enjoy the game. I mean, it, it kind of not say that maybe the person I am today, but when it comes to the gaming side of me, it, it really did. Yeah. And I, I do want the game to get better. I just feel like, you know, being 15 years into the game, just like you have, right? We've seen the ups. We've seen the very far downs. Yeah. And, you know, I might try it maybe maybe at the end of Dragonflight when they've proven themselves for patch after patch of constantly listening, listening to the players and not having this tug of war yeah. of systems that you're supposed to quote unquote have fun in when it's, when it's not. And yeah. I just refuse to get on that treadmill again, mm -hmm. but I really wish people that play the game well, I want, I want Dragonflight to be as best as it can be. But yeah. I just feel like for me personally, I feel like my time has kind of set and I'm just looking forward to the future. I'm looking forward to the right MMO. I'm looking forward to Ashes of Creation. Yeah. I'm looking forward to any new MMO that comes out because I, you know, just like you, I love MMOs. I love the genre and I yeah. want the genre to get healthy. I don't want this pay to win or, or severe pay to convenience to keep going. And there yeah. needs to be something that changes in that. Yeah. So I'm a little bit different there than, than where you are. On the one hand, I do want WoW to do well, mainly because I believe competition is everything. I don't want Final oh, Fantasy sure. to be the new MMO that everyone flocks to, because if it is, it's literally going to be World of Warcraft in 10 years from now, right? It's going to do the same things, because as soon as they run out of anyone to compete with, they're going to start becoming scumbags, and they're probably going to replace Yoshi P because he doesn't want them to be scumbags, and they're going to put someone in there that doesn't have a problem with being a scumbag, right? Because at the end of the right. day, all of these companies care only for money. That's all they're there to make. But that's exactly the other side of the coin for me when it comes to Blizzard. I do sort of want Blizzard to get that wake-up call because I don't think they're there yet, especially considering Diablo Immoral and that launch that was just absolutely disgusting considering now with the overwatch 2 shit that they're pulling i mean it's bad enough that they're calling it overwatch 2 when so i told you guys in the beginning of the stream that i've been reading 1984 and i can't help it whenever i read anything even when it's real life stuff i always take it back to gaming like i just find these examples of how shit is happening in gaming 
there's this concept that Winston in 1984 speaks about so often. It's called double uh, double speak, right? Uh, and the idea behind double speak is to hold two conflicting notions within your head at the exact same time. So, say for example, you said wet fire. Right. We know that those two ideas cannot coexist. Fire is not wet, and wet can't really be fire. Of course, you could get into the weeds here and say, well, oil could be on fire, and that would be wet fire. But we're talking about, you know, sort of more prime, like primitive level, right? Uh, argumentation here. Mm -hmm. That's exactly what something like Overwatch 2 is. Every single person with half a fucking brain can look at Overwatch 2, and we all know that's Overwatch 1. Like, we all fucking know that is Overwatch 1, right? It's not Overwatch 2, it is Overwatch 1. But because Blizzard have said that it's Overwatch 2, we now find ways of defending it. Well, actually, it's got a whole new PvE campaign. It's like, well, dude, that's called a fucking DLC, right? That's not, like, what are you talking about? It's still just Overwatch 1, uh, just with a, a PvE DLC. They're just calling it Overwatch 2. And now they've gone even further. And I know exactly why they've done this. Blizzard made a promise in their advertisements and in the selling of Overwatch 1, where they said that, that champions will always be free for everyone. They, you, you'll just be able to play all the champions that they have in the game. Overwatch 2 have announced now that all new champions will be coming with the battle pass. So you're going to have to pay in order to get these new champions. Um... It's a, it's a way for them to say, well, we didn't lie, because this is Overwatch 2, right? And Overwatch 2, the champions aren't for free, so go fuck yourself. Uh, that's the level of company that we're dealing with. And I do think that they are not going to wake up until the game is in the shitter. Until the game is so, so fucked that they look around them and they start looking at the companies that are still making money and they realize that what what are they doing that we aren't and suddenly that realization comes well they're just focusing on good gameplay they're not trying to make every lost saint out of their player base they're not trying to milk their player base for everything that they're worth they're just making a really good game and the people want to play that really good game because it's a really good game and that's why they're making money it's right. it's a gamble I of course right because bobby Kuntick very easily say well fuck it end it let's make another mobile game <laughs> well and, and someone someone in chat mentioned about you know well, they need to just make a wow too and i've always been against that notion because yeah. again this is the same team that's ruining or that ruined wow why would you want them to make a, a wow too with better graphics when inherently they're going to make the same mistakes i feel yeah. like they need to completely hire like outside people and and literally build something from the ground up and take their time i yeah. think time is the thing that companies are never allowed because of money and shareholders and corporate interests mm -hmm. and the thing is mmos do take a lot of time to make i mean i've been following ashes now for probably going on three years yeah and you know i've always advocated you know let them take their time you know don't rush them yep. look at new world New new world people were saying even in the beta, like three or four months before in, oh yeah, the game's ready. Clearly it was not ready. Uh just yep. because you can bake a chicken in the oven for seven minutes doesn't mean that it's gonna be ready in seven minutes. And I think a lot of MMOs face that and it's just so it's so sad because yeah. it New World now, I think, is a lot better. Could you imagine if we've been in beta since then and, and all the progress they've made? It's a oh, lot yeah. of really, really good progress. Yeah. But you can never you can never get the first experience again. And that I that think has been the biggest so issue. True. That is so true. It's one of the reasons I haven't gotten back into New World. Uh Ruricon asked me last week, uh, do I want to try New World again? And I was sort of like, Yeah, I'll probably give it a go. But you know, no matter how many times people tell me, Oh, it's so much better now. I'm like, dude, I remember when I first logged into it and it had so much promise and it fell so flat. I don't know if it's, if I'm ever gonna get over that. I'm not so desperate for an MMO that I need to rehash failed fucking MMOs, right? Uh, I could play a bunch of other games that's just as good, if not better. Um, I will say, though, you, you mentioned something there that 
it's a real big gripe of mine. I think mainly because I I I am a capitalist in in the most real and pure sense. I believe in the free market. I believe that it is the only thing that leads to human happiness. But there are things that I don't like within the capitalist market, and I'm not entirely sure if these things are sort of baked into it. So if you have capitalism, there's no way of not having that or if it is a symptom of corporatism as capitalism gets corrupted. But something like the stock market to me seems to be so anti-consumer because take Tesla uh, as an example, right? The Tesla share price does not reflect the actual value of the company in any way, shape or form. It just doesn't. Tesla as a company, don't make enough cars to even justify that share price by a fraction of what the share price is. And yet, those shares are astronomical and it allows the company to make so much more profits because people are buying into this company at incredibly inflated prices. Let's look at Activision Blizzard. Activision Blizzard's stock price, uh, when I last looked, uh, I could probably check it again quickly, but last time I checked, it was like 80 something dollars, like maybe just, just shy of $80. Um, mm -hmm. And this for a company that prior to Diablo Immoral, I don't had a game in six fucking years. It's $77 right now. It's sort of been falling over the last day, uh, but it's right. still climbing. Um, $77 that it's now for for a share it does not this company does not deserve that share price but because they know this is where their money comes from considering the fact that prior to diablo immortal they haven't had a single successful launch of a game in almost six fucking years and the share oh. price is 77 fucking dollars something's <laughs> wrong like, the incentives are fucked. If you're a gaming no. company, you should be incentivized to make video games, right? So, if you're a video game company, but you're not actually making video games, then what the fuck are you? No, right. I mean, and it kind of reeks with Dragonflight to me, uh, because I don't think anyone expected Dragonflight to be out by the end of the year. When they oh, unveiled yeah. that information, people, everybody was shocked. Like we were thinking March or April, like take your time, you know, it's, I mean, the game is yeah. okay now, but we don't want the next expansion to feel rushed, to feel like it needs more time in the oven. But again, when I heard that it did make sense in a corporate sense, right? Cause they want to make their end of year and come out with a bang, have yeah. all the pre-sales and all that other stuff. And that's what it feels like. And that's why I just, I can't, I just can't anymore. I can't yeah. de defend. I can't be excited about it because it just feels so corporate at the end of the day and not in the best interest of the players. Yeah, that's exactly my point, right? When game companies become far more obsessed or fixated on making the shareholders happy than what they are on actually making good video games, we have a problem. And it doesn't seem obvious to me that that problem can be solved so long as there is something like a stock market in its current form. I'm not against the stock market as a whole, but I do think that the only people that should be able to own stocks in a company uh, should probably be people that have a vested interest in said company. Um, or at least, you know, something like CD Projekt Red, where the only people that's allowed to sit on the board of directors are gamers, right? So they don't actually allow people to own majority shares unless they are in and of themselves games, gamers and game developers. Um, or take Valve, for example, a, a wholly privately owned company, and Gabe Newell have said straight up, he will never list his company because he doesn't need a bunch of suits that don't know nothing about video games telling him to make the next Half-Life or else, right? Um, and yeah, sure. I, don't, I, don't, I think you're making a very responsible decision here in saying, look, Blizzard, you fucked me over, right? You have destroyed whatever goodwill you've had with me have been completely erased now so i'm gonna sit back and i'm gonna wait 
I also don't, by the way, agree with these people that just go, no, fuck, wow, it's date to me, I'll never play it again. I've uninstalled it and that's it. Because <laughs> they're not, fuck, it's not it, right? They're it, gonna yeah, go back at some point. For sure. You know, so it is sort of, I like your approach more in saying, I'll wait. And you know what? If by, like, the end or the middle of Dragonflight, if I watch an Akalon video and I see Akalon loves this game now and he's sort of saying everything's great now and maybe I see Asmongold talking about the game and he loves it and so on, then maybe I'll get right. back, you know, and maybe I'll give it another go. I think that's a great mindset to have. It, it is that sort of mindset of prove to me that you deserve my money. Otherwise, I'll take it somewhere right. else. And, you know. and Asmongold said this too, like I remember him talking about the the whole allegiance with, you know, kind of the tribalism in MMOs. It's like, a, I, I've been a WoW Andy for so long, like I like WoW, but yeah. you know, at the same time, like when it comes to like drinks, right? He drinks Dr. Pepper, but he also drinks Pepsi. He doesn't have an allegiance just with Dr. Pepper and every other drink is garbage. It's like, yeah. but you have that sort of tribalism with MMO players, right? Like I, I don't mind playing three or four different MMOs, but I think right now the MMO landscape isn't as great and I already played all of Final Fantasy so yeah. I have to kind of wait on that kind of content for me but I, I don't know I just again I just want the MMO genre to be healthy again and I would love like a great story y'all were talking about Queen Ajara mm -hmm. man like WoW had some such great lore and just over the years it's just gone into some wacky days of our lives that yeah. no one cares about and for me like who who is interested in lore I'm just not even interested in that aspect anymore yeah. like at all. I I can absolutely see that. And I see people in chat absolutely agreeing with it as well. Uh, like the Mothers just say it there. It's understandable because of the optimistic, but not as invested as once before. Um, I, I, think, I think everyone sort of feels that, right? Now I'm well, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm, I'm aware of the fact that I have my own bubble, right? That exists here. Most of the people that watch me either watch for Warhammer or it's people that used to like WoW and uh, like when I rant and sort of get very anti-Blizzard, uh, you know, so they get really happy whenever I do that. So I recognize that this is my own bubble, but I do think that there is a sort of inherent harm from people who pretend like nothing is wrong right, who, who basically walk right. around praising Blizzard as if Blizzard have done nothing wrong, as if all is forgiven. And I, I sort of feel like, I don't know if that's the best way to, to approach it. I think, what? yeah. No, I'm sorry. I was just going to say, I, I completely agree with you. That was another, actually, one of the main reasons why uh, I left World of Warcraft, because of the just the the positive toxicity or also the bipolar opposite, the negative toxicity of like the game's dead, you're an idiot for playing or just whatever. And everybody's just at this uh, very emotional point, right? Of being on one side of the fence or completely on the other side. And it's just this war that's literally going on. Uh, it's a be better war than Horde versus Alliance, but either way, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, it, it's, it's a war nonetheless. And I think no one's going to be the winner in that. And no. I just, I just personally choose just to walk away and just reassess. Cause I think honestly, there could be a lot of good in the community. Mm -hmm. Once we get positive patch after positive patch after, oh, yeah. you know, eight, after an, uh, an Ian interview, and that's really positive. Another Ian interview, that's really positive. I think that for almost two years, mm -hmm. the player base can get almost, I'm not saying like, not for like Final Fantasy, cause I think that's a little too positive sometimes, but yeah, I mean, it's, it can just get better. And I think that's where I think the players want. I think that's where the devs at Blizzard want. Uh, it's what we all want. Oh, and yeah. I think, again, it's just a matter of them proving themselves. And once they can prove themselves multiple times, maybe I'll come back. So, I but I really appreciate a... your content, Algon. I think you're a great content creator. I've watched you that's for many years. Thank you. You're, you're literally like such a good passionate dude and that's why i watch you because your passion even when you rant on stuff you only rant because of your passion so i appreciate yeah. that as a viewer i mean I, I i like getting annoyed thank you very much for the kind words i really appreciate that um and yeah i i think it's a healthy outlook and i think you're absolutely correct Vladis. thanks for the follow also by the way <laughs> yeah, um, i should have done that a long time ago sorry <laughs> but no i i think it's a healthy outlook i think uh, with the Final Fantasy being too positive and WoW being too negative, it's sort of like human, right? Human beings will almost always go too far to fucking one side. 
it's very difficult to find equilibrium. The only thing that I sort of hold on to is the fact that I think there there's a, a great many people that is very silent in their discontent or in their neutrality. They don't make a lot of noise, but they're there and and they're sort oh, of yeah. you know they're they're doing what whatever they want to do, and they're not really allowing anyone to get to them on either side of the debate. But let's let's wait and see. I promise to remain mm -hmm. as honest as possible about it. I'm gonna play it because I have to, it's my fucking job. And believe you me, the second I run into anything in Dragonflight that I go, that's bullshit, I'm gonna call it out, right? I'm gonna be like, nope, that, that is fucking bullshit. I'm sorry, I don't agree with that. Uh, just had a, a two and a half hour discussion with Rurikon on the podcast last week where we sort of discussed the new gearing thing like the the open world gearing thing that the blizzard have where uh you know i'm not entirely sure i'm a bit cautious uh, about that because it seems like they're they're making it take way longer than what it's actually supposed to take it like at first i was like oh this is fine i, I don't see a problem with it and then he sort of dove into it and it's gonna take weeks just to unlock bracers for example uh with the new like the gearing system that they have there so yeah, it, it sort of feels like Blizzard is still into this whole engagement metric or engagement-minded philosophy where it's all about the engagement and, you know, we don't really give a fuck whether or not the player is having fun as long as they're engaged with our game. And I've never understood that. I've never understood that mindset. Because as, as far as I'm concerned, if you really want to get me engaged, you make a fun game. That's all I need. Like, I will be super right. engaged if I'm having fun. Uh, you don't need to force me to fucking play a video game. It's like, you know, masturbation have been the same for thousands and thousands of years. No one needs to force anyone to fucking masturbate. They'll do that shit just for free because it's <laughs> fun, you know? Uh, <laughs> Blizzard just needs to fucking realize that. Just make your game as fun as masturbation. You've got yourself a good fucking time. Uh, so, yeah. yeah you know. uh, anyways, I appreciate the question. I appreciate the discussion, uh, Vladek. This this was super fun. So, thank you for a really cool way of ending uh, of ending the stream. Oh, wow. Well, th thank you so much again. You're, you're, you're awesome, man. I'll, I always love watching you. It's my absolute pleasure. Uh, thank you so much, dude. Take care of yourself, man. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Peace.